New Pakistan was once again humiliated on an international platform for failing to act against terrorism and supporting it. Speaking at the 45th session of UN Human Rights Council, Veronica Eklund, research analyst at European Foundation for South Asian Studies, said Imran Khan and Pakistan's foreign minister, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, have several times confessed at international platforms that their country shelters terrorists. For a long time, the country is harboring terrorists in its territory. Veronica Eklund, during UN Human Rights Council, asks, Why is Pakistan still a member of UN Human Rights Council? Madam President, respect for human rights is universal and paramount and applies to all countries including Pakistan, and terrorism inherently undermines the promotion and protection of human rights. Talking to CNN in February 2019, Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi admitted that UN-designated terrorist and Chief of Jaisha Mohammed Mazud Azhar resides in Pakistan. To BBC in March 2019, Mr Qureshi confessed that his government and Jaisha Mohammed maintained official contact. In July 2019, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan told the U.S. Institute of Peace in Washington that his country hosts 40,000 terrorists. In June 2020, Prime Minister Imran Khan referred to Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden as a martyr in the country's parliament. Last month, Pakistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs acknowledged the presence of UN-designated terrorist Dawood Ibrahim on its territory. Madam President, there is no need to elaborate. Pakistani officials have time and again confessed the country continues to be a safe haven for terrorists and terrorist organizations. The UN Security Council's consolidated list of terrorist individuals and entities includes 146 entries from Pakistan. With all due respect, I am compelled to ask, why is Pakistan still a member?